In this video, we're going to connect to an API using NextURL pagination in Airtable. We'll start by looking at what NextURL pagination is. So we're going to connect to the Bitbucket API and use the repositories endpoint to get a list of repositories. When we make that request, we only get the first 10 or the first page of results. We also get this field called next, which gives us the URL to get the next page of results. So this is why it's known as next URL pagination. So to get the second page, we'd follow this one, and then we'd get another next field to get the third page, etc, etc. Let's go back to Airtable and set that up. So click on the Apps dashboard, then click Add an App, then search for the Data Fetcher app and click Add. Data Fetcher is a free Airtable app that lets you run requests with pagination right within Airtable. Once you've installed the app, you need to sign up for a free Data Fetcher account or sign in to your existing one. On the home screen, click Create Request. Give your request a name like Fetch Repositories and enter the request URL. For Bitbucket, we also need to add authorization, which is basic auth of your username and your password. Select the output table you want to use and the output view. Then click Determine Fields and open Field Mapping. Click Show Response to show the actual response from the API and Filter All to remove all the fields. Now we need to add the fields we want to keep. So we definitely want to keep this next field because we need to use that in our pagination. Then we can look at the values to see what other ones we want to keep. So let's keep name. I want to use the existing field of name. And let's keep owner as well. Then click confirm and data fetch will create any missing fields. So it's going to create owner and next for us. And in pagination, in the advanced settings, select next URL, select the number of pages you want to fetch. We'll toggle this to fetch all pages. And then we need to select the field that gives us the next page URL, which we know is next. Finally, click Save. Close the app, click Run. Data Fetcher will now run the request for each different page of results, pulling in four pages with 10 records in each.